It looked more like a walkthrough for Sunset Boulevard than football practice, but without a field to work out on, Obi Zargos worked on motivation instead. We want to go out and show the fans of Toronto that uh, they have something to be uh, pleased with, and maybe not so much the season, but uh, at least uh, the fact that uh, we want to go out there and uh, play with a lot of intensity and come out with a victory. This is really our playoff game for the season because we're playing against the best team in the league, and it's our last game of the season, and uh, it's kind of a springboard uh, to next season, really. But injuries are forcing Obi's hand to the bitter end this season. And as a result, he's going with four Canadian pass catchers against Calgary. We've got three import receivers here, but they're all hurt, so uh, they're not going to be able to help us. So uh, uh, our best opportunity to execute our offense with guys that know the offense and have been here all year, of course, is with uh, our Canadian uh, talent. Some of which may or may not be back next year, which is why a meaningless game like this one can still mean so much. Yeah, I think so. Uh, it's been a frustrating year across the board for everybody. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'd like to end it on a positive note and uh, hopefully um, show something to everybody else for next year. But before thinking about next year, the Argos are doing their best to concentrate on Calgary. And in particular, it's quarterback Jeff Garcia. The thing we have to do with Jeff Garcia is um, contain him. If we can contain Garcia and um, maybe get some pressure on him, I think we have a chance. Of course, had everything gone according to plan for the Argos, this might have been just a great playoff preview. But after everything that's gone wrong this season, all they really want is to just get things over with. Rob Sinclair for Sports Live.